Right here, guys. I'm calling it. All right. Ready? You're about to de destroy it. What's going on, guys? Welcome to another video. So let me give you down, give you the lowdown right now. So I actually went to Bass Pro Shops with Chance, and Isaac called me, invited me to go pond fishing, and it's been pouring like this whole time. So the rain's been really bad, and it was literally pouring until I got home, and it stopped. And so I like looked at the backyard. I saw the pond was flooded. I had a popping frog on my rod and I was like, you know what? Let me come out here and try it for a minute. So I tried it for a minute and I caught three fish right off the bat. And I'm like, you know what? I have to grab the GoPro. I have to film a video for tomorrow anyways. I told Chance I go fishing with him. I told Isaac I go fishing with him, but I just need to come out. I really need to be doing homework right now. That was the main plan is to come home and do some homework. But I tied this popping frog on. As you can tell, I do have it on fluorocarbon. I know you guys are going to say something about that, but my braided reel right now is really messed up, so it's gonna have to work on this. So we're gonna go out here and we are going to fish for some popping frog fish. I actually had one that was like two and a half, one that was like two, and then one that was like one and a half. But they're all like really cool bites. I'm really sad that I didn't get those on camera, but we're gonna walk around this pond today. A few seconds while it's not really pouring. It's kind of sprinkling right now, but I wanna see if I can get some cool catches on GoPro. So let's go ahead and get this started. All right, guys, here we go. We got our popping frog. I had one actually come up right here right when i came out here but he never ate it maybe he's still sitting right here somewhere i think he came up under where that sign's at right where i'm going by that'd be so cool just to catch him yeah he, uh, he came up he's about two pounds came up and like i was walking up on my frog like this and he just came up and put his nose to it he saw me and darted off but i already went down this bank but Want to run down here see if we can get some more popping frog fish i just caught some so quick it was like a literally a five minute span i caught three and i was like you know what this is like the best bite ever i can't just like not film this for you guys so that is what we're going to be doing right now we're going to be going around this pond see if we can catch them on this popping frog see if we can get some big ones that's the main goal and uh let's go ahead and get it started all right guys we're gonna make this happen real quick we're gonna make this happen I don't want to walk up on this bank yet. So I know we can catch one right here. Oh yeah, I just saw one. Just like that. Just like that. I'm about to say, I just saw him come out of the pads. Look at that right there. They're not pads. That little grass is right there. I literally saw him move. Nothing big, about a pound and a quarter. But gosh, when you, when you hunt for big mama, these fish are gonna eat like that. We should be able to find big mama. Go choke on this frog. Uh oh. Not nah, good. Now nah, I'm actually getting rained on. Jeez, the GoPro. No. I'm a second away from my house, too. Uh, -uh. I'm gonna break my GoPro. I'm gonna break my GoPro. Golly. I don't even pay that attention. Come on, eat it again. Oh, he came off. Jeez. He had it. That's for sure. Just came off. There he is. Oh, he just came off right there. Okay. Okay. He was a baby. That's a done deal. Yep. Oh, that's a good one. Dang, that's a good one. Oh my God. He choked it too. Jeez, he choked it. That's how they're supposed to eat it. Look at that, right? In the back of his throat. Right in the back of his throat. God. That is awesome, guys. Beautiful fish. 
I'd say about two and a quarter. Yeah, about two and a quarter. Beautiful one. Let's get a release. There is a monster gar about to hit my top water. No, no, no. <laughs> Sorry, buddy, but I only got one frog. I am not about to let you eat it. Look at him right here. Look at old buddy. Yeah. Trying to steal my frog. See if his friend old bass is over here. Oh boy, old goose about to freak out on me. She thinks I'm about to go kill her babies. So now she thinks my frog is going to kill her babies. All right, girl, I ain't going to mess with you. Calm down. I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching this far into the video. If you guys could, please smash that like button. Please subscribe as well. And also be sure to click the post notifications on so you guys get notifications every single time I upload. All right, guys, let me talk a little bit about what I'm doing and how I'm fishing everything. So you, if, as you guys could tell, I'm going along this bank with this popping frog, working along the edge. If you guys are wondering why I'm doing this, it's because it just rained very, very, very hard. And as you can tell, this is actually the edge of the grass right there. I don't know if you guys can tell that. That's, that's usually in the yard, and there's water above that. So what's going to happen are those fish are going to push up to this, especially even carp and other smaller fish to eat insects out of this. So... Therefore, all these fish are going to be pushed up on the bank. And what I do, what I do is I throw this popping frog, popping it, pause, pop, pop, pause. And these fish just cannot take it, guys. They're right here. They see this thing fall up on the bank, and it's just deadly right here. You know, after a big storm or whatever it is, it floods your body of water. This fish are going to push up. It's just what's going to happen. And these fish just cannot stand this popping frog coming along. And you know, it's, it's, it's all gonna change every single time. You, you can't go take how I'm working this popping frog and apply it, you know, next week at your pond over in Utah. You know what I mean? You guys are gonna have to figure out how these fish are wanting this popping frog. Some days they're gonna want it popping like this. And then some days they're gonna want it like throwing it out there, reeling it out, pop, 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 pop. The fish has jumped right there pop pop some days they're gonna want it like that it's all, all gonna depend guys on just the conditions of the day and you know the body of water you're at and how active those fish are that day this weather's cleared up a little bit it was actually raining earlier i went back inside for a little bit let it clear up and came back out here and uh we're gonna see if we can catch us a lot more guys this is about to get to the juicy part right over here and let's see uh if we can catch them one other thing as you guys can tell i'm in the back of this little pocket this is the very back right here. There's a lot of structure. There's a lot of crap up on the bank where that water comes up. Don't be afraid. I'm telling you, throw it on that bank. There should be a fish here now and crawl it off into that gook. I'm telling you, fish can get up in and in that stuff. It can be, it can be dangerous now. These fish, I mean, you can have a big one stuffed up all in that gook, but most people won't fish stuff like this. But when it's flooded like this, guys, those fish will get up all in that stuff, guaranteed. Just like that, golly. I missed it. Right here in the back, watch. Another little tip. I don't know if we'll eat it. I landed my frog a little hard. Jesus. That was all my fault. I wasn't paying attention. That's a done deal, that's a fish right there. That is just a done deal. There he is. Oh, he's a pretty good one. Absolutely choked that bad boy. Look at that. I don't know if you guys can tell. Those hooks right there. Perfect right in the top of his mouth. Ate that spur popping frog. Pretty little fish. This is one of those spots where it looks too juicy. There's probably another one sitting there with him. I would not hesitate to throw back in there in the same spot. There's also a little drain right below my frog. So I'm coming right over the top of that drain. And if I had a worm or a spinner bait, I promise you <laughs> it would be dangerous 
It would be dangerous right here in front of that pipe with all this water. Right here, guys, I'm calling it. All right, ready? You're about to de destroy it. Just like that. <sighs> choked it, absolutely choked it. That's how you catch them right there, guys. I, I just, you cannot be a popping frog bite. I'm supposed to be doing homework right now. But guys, you just can't. When they're eating a popping frog, you just have to come out here and whack them. And again, guys, there should be another one here. But the only thing of this popping frog, when you hook them, you know, these fish are running across the top of the water, you know, making all the ruckus, hitting all the structure. Sometimes it's hard to get another one, one to bite because they know what just happened. They just know their buddy just got screwed. <laughs> so sometimes it's hard to, you know, get multiple bites in the same location with this frog. But, you know, still a fun way to catch these fish. Like right here, there should totally be a bass. I don't know if he's going to bite since I just caught his buddy. Let's see. Oh, trying to skip a frog up in this grass. Come on. Just destroy it. I want to see one just whack it. Just like that. Oh my god. <laughs> that was probably one of the coolest GoPro shots ever. Jesus, tell me he tell me he didn't want it, guys. Tell me he did not want that. That is absolutely unreal. That that is just Look at that baby. That that is just that is just called they want it. That ain't called nothing else but they want it. That's where you should have been, buddy. This is one of those spots that they should be a good bit of them right here. I won't catch one in this corner. I always lose one in this corner. And there's some grass there and it's gonna be juicy. I want a big one to choke it. He ain't big, but he choked it, and then he came off. That's a big one. Oh my god, that was like a four-pounder. Why do I always lose a big one right here? I literally watched that one just come up and slurp it down. He didn't even hammer it. Oh my god. Second time I lost four-pounder right here. Come on, baby. I know you're right there. Another freaking dude. I just missed two big ones in a row. The big ones aren't eating it. The big ones are just swatting at it. The little ones actually choke it. Makes no sense. All right, about to happen right now. Right here on this corner. That's a good one. That's a good one. He choked it. Yeah. Oh yeah, he choked it. Oh my god. Look at that guys. You cannot tell me they don't want it. I don't understand why those other two good ones just really didn't eat it, because by the side of this one eating it, he wanted. it. Pretty little fish guys called him right out on this corner. You got the main lake, you got this creek, you got that creek. The fish right on this edge. I mean, that's where he should have been. Oh, he's bleeding. I got him in the in the tongue. Oh, golly, golly! Fish is laying there. I literally just saw him. Saw him right when he saw me. Thank you guys all so much for watching this video. If you guys want to see more pond fishing videos, more especially like popping frog or topwater fishing videos, be sure to smash that like button. Be sure to comment below on what you guys want to see next. And please subscribe if you guys could and press the little bell so it's, you guys receive post notifications. Thank you guys so much for the support. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode.